Hi, and welcome to second episode of my devlog series. This week there is are a number of things I want to focus on, but first I need to implement jump mechanics. We are going to expand on some of the code we made the last time to make our hero to jump as high as we want. And yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun, because jumping in 2D is a little bit challenging than you think. So without further ado, let's get back to Unity. First let's create a new script and give it a new name. I think jump behavior, sounds really good. Let's attach it to our hero by simple drag and drop. Let's define some variables. In order to make a jump, we need jump speed. Also, we need a reference to rigidbody 2D component, as a previous. Let me just explain what we are going to be making here. Basically what we want to do is to check if we press a button. This could be any button, but we will check special jump button, which is a space, by default. And when the player presses a button, something should happen. In our case, let's just call something to console. As you see, every time that I'm hitting the button, text message appears. Time to expand our code. We want to make jump in Y axis, so we should add our jump speed to rigidbody 2D velocity. The velocity is specified as a vector with components in the x and y directions. Just in case, there is no z direction in 2D physics. Let's test our game. As you see, every time that I'm hitting the space bar, our hero jumps. But, here is a problem. If I hit space bar while hero in air, jumps will continues instantly. And here is a second tricky part of our journey. In order to fix this, we need to know if hero is standing on the platform or not and we can make a jump only if he is actually standing. Let's define new layer called platform to the ground object and make some changes to player movement script. In order to check if player standing on the platform, we will use raycast technique. Raycast is a special ray that casts against colliders in the scene. It is conceptually like a laser beam that is fired from a point in space along a particular direction. Any object making contact with the beam can be detected and reported. So we should create two transform points. The ray will continuously go through that points right down. And if something will blocks his path, and if something will have collision layer called platform, that will mean that we standing on the platform. Now that we know when the player is standing on a platform, we can make him jump. Let's back to jump behavior script and make a new condition. 
Let's create a reference to our standing variable from player movement script and make a new if statement. From now, every time that someone hits space bar, standing condition will be checked. And if it is true, our hero will jump. Let's test the game to ensure that everything works as expected. And that's all for this episode. I want to thank everyone who subscribed, watched or liked and commented the video. Thank you for watching.